Have you ever wondered why spiders don't stick to their own webs? This question has piqued the curiosity of many, and the answers lead us into the fascinating world of spiders, a realm teeming with diversity and unique abilities. Spiders, those eight-legged creatures that often inspire a shiver down the spine, are much more than meets the eye. They're a testament to the marvels of evolution, exhibiting an array of abilities that make them some of the most intriguing creatures on the planet. One of the most common questions about these creatures revolves around their intricate webs. How do they navigate these sticky traps without becoming ensnared themselves? The answer lies in the fine details of their anatomy and smart movement. Each spider's legs are equipped with special bristles, minuscule structures that act as non-stick surfaces. These tiny bristles reduce the surface area that comes into contact with the web, allowing the spider to traverse its creation without becoming a victim of its own trap. But it's not just about the bristles, spiders also display a strategic movement pattern, their steps carefully choreographed to avoid the sticky strands of the web. They tread lightly, touching the web with only the tips of their legs, and use their body's sensors to detect and bypass the gluey threads. This combination of physical adaptation and clever strategy is what allows spiders to master their webs, a testament to their evolutionary ingenuity. It's one of the many reasons why spiders are such fascinating creatures to study and understand. And this is just the tip of the iceberg. With over 45,000 different species, each with its own unique set of abilities, the world of spiders is as diverse as it is fascinating. From the common house spider to the exotic tarantula, each species offers a new perspective on the wonders of the arachnid world. So, the next time you see a spider skillfully navigating its web, remember the intricate dance of evolution and adaptation playing out before your eyes. As we delve deeper into the world of these intriguing arachnids, we'll discover even more about their remarkable abilities and the role they play in our world. With over 45,000 different species, each with its own unique set of abilities, the world of spiders is as diverse as it is fascinating. Not all spiders are harmless web weavers, some pack a deadly punch. Among the world's most venomous spiders, the Brazilian wandering spider, also known as the banana spider, tops the list. This spider doesn't build a web to catch its prey. Instead, it hunts on the ground during the night, hence its name. The Brazilian wandering spider is usually found in the tropical South American countries, often hiding in houses and cars during the day. Its venom is potent, and a single bite can cause severe pain, breathing problems, and even heart failure in extreme cases. Then, we have the infamous brown recluse spider. This spider is native to the United States, particularly in the Midwest and South Central states. It's recognized by the violin-shaped marking on its back and its six eyes, rather than the typical eight. The brown recluse is renowned for its necrotizing venom, which can cause tissue death around the bite area. While not typically fatal, bites from this spider can lead to severe wounds and scars. Lastly, let's venture down under to Australia, home of the Sydney funnel web spider. This spider is known for its aggressive nature when threatened and its venom that is particularly harmful to humans. It's identifiable by its shiny black body and the distinctive funnel-shaped web it spins. The Sydney funnel web spider's venom contains a compound that can attack the human nervous system and cause death if not promptly treated. While these spiders are potentially harmful, it's important to remember that they generally avoid humans and bites are rare. So, the next time you spot a spider remember, they're more scared of you than you are of them. It's always wise to respect these creatures from a distance, for they are remarkable representatives of the arachnid world, each with their unique traits and roles in our ecosystem. Have you ever marveled at the strength and intricacy of a spider's web? It's impossible not to be awed by these natural masterpieces, each one a testament to the remarkable abilities of their eight-legged architects. Spiders you see are not just predators, they're also artisans, spinning intricate webs that are as beautiful as they are deadly. The process of web creation is quite a spectacle. It begins when a spider releases a thin thread of silk into the wind. This thread, known as a gossamer, catches onto a surface, creating the first bridge. The spider then strengthens this bridge with more silk and uses it as a base to construct the rest of the web. Different spiders spin different types of webs, each unique and specialized. Take the orb weaver spiders for instance. They construct large symmetrical wheel-shaped webs that are a marvel to behold. Then there are the funnel web spiders which spin dense funnel-shaped webs to trap unsuspecting prey. We also have the cobweb spiders or house spiders who weave irregular sticky webs in corners. But perhaps the most remarkable thing about these webs is the silk itself. 
Spider silk is one of the strongest materials known to man. It's stronger than steel of the same weight and can stretch up to 40% of its original length without breaking. Imagine that. This super material is produced right within the tiny bodies of spiders. Scientists are fascinated by spider silk and its potential applications. From bulletproof vests to surgical sutures, the possibilities are as vast as they are exciting. So, the next time you see a spider's web remember you're not just looking at a predator's trap you're looking at a piece of natural engineering that has stood the test of time and continues to inspire mankind. From intricate orb webs to simple sheet webs, each spider's home is a marvel of natural engineering. And that, my friends, is the wonder of the silk spinners. They're not just spiders, they're architects, artists, and engineers all rolled into one. Despite their small size, spiders are formidable predators. Not all spiders spin webs to catch their prey. Some, like the cunning trapdoor spider, prefer a more strategic approach. These crafty critters dig burrows in the ground and line them with silk, creating a hidden trap for unsuspecting insects. With a door made of soil, vegetation and silk, the trapdoor spider lies in wait, sensing vibrations through the ground. When an insect passes by, the spider swiftly opens its trapdoor, seizes the prey and drags it into the burrow. A swift end to an unsuspecting victim, all thanks to the art of ambush. Then there are those spiders that prefer the thrill of the chase. The wolf spider, for example, is an active hunter. Rather than spinning a web or digging a trap, this spider prowls the ground using its excellent eyesight to spot prey. Once the target is in sight, the wolf spider gives chase, pouncing on its prey with a speed that belies its size. It's a display of agility and precision that's truly a sight to behold. But it's not all about the thrill of the hunt. Spiders play a crucial role in controlling insect populations. Without these eight-legged predators we'd be overrun with all sorts of pesky insects. They keep the numbers of flies, mosquitoes and other insects in check, providing a natural form of pest control. It's a thankless job, but it's one that spiders perform diligently, day in and day out. Spiders are a testament to the diversity of life strategies in nature. From the trapdoor spider's patient ambush to the wolf spider's active hunting, these creatures have honed their predatory skills over millions of years of evolution. They're a vital part of the food web, and their presence helps maintain the delicate balance of our ecosystem. Their predatory skills make spiders an essential part of our ecosystem, keeping pesky insects in check. So we've journeyed through the world of spiders, but what does all this mean for us? In our exploration, we've come across intricate webs of knowledge, spun from the threads of understanding, curiosity and respect for these fascinating eight-legged creatures. We've delved into the intriguing world of arachnids, discovering the variety of their species and breeds, each unique in their own right. From the goliath bird-eating spider, the largest spider by mass, to the patu digua, the smallest spider in the world, their diversity is simply astounding. We've stepped into the danger zone, learning about the various levels of venom in different spider species. Some, like the Brazilian wandering spider, can be deadly to humans, while others, like the common house spider, pose little to no threat. Each spider, regardless of its venom level, has a crucial role to play in the ecosystem. We've marveled at the silk spinners, the architects of the spider world. The golden orb weaver, for instance, spins webs so strong, they can catch small birds. These remarkable abilities aren't just for catching prey, they're used for shelter, protection, and even reproduction. As predators, spiders are vital for maintaining the balance in our ecosystems. Their role in controlling insect populations cannot be overstated. Without spiders, we would likely be overrun by insects, which could lead to significant ecological imbalance and crop damage. Spiders, despite their often fearsome reputation, are more often allies than enemies. They are nature's pest control, helping to keep the balance in our gardens and homes. Their venom and silk have potential in medical and technological advancements, offering us new possibilities for the future. It's time we replace fear with respect and ignorance with understanding. These creatures, as eerie and alien as they might seem, are an integral part of our world. Their survival is our survival. So next time you spot a spider remember they're an important part of our world, often more helpful than harmful. Until next time, keep exploring the world around you.